kind of hard to breathe in here. Oh my god, it's so spicy. I've played like poop. <laughs> I just suck. Even thinking about it makes me want to like die. So. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, welcome back to another tournament vlog. I am in Mexico. I'm playing the 2023 Mexican International Challenge. Today is actually day two of the tournament already. I actually play today, but first let me give you a little room tour. Oh my God, my room is so dirty. Wait, let me just make it a little more organized before I show you guys. A few moments later. Here is wendy and i's room to the left we have the bathroom look how scary this lighting is i feel like someone could be murdered in this bathroom that's the vibe it gives off there's literally no lights in here it's kind of very spooky here is my very messy luggage let's not look at that here's my bed we have huge beds actually pretty good pretty good and then here's all of our messy stuff and here is our view of a building under construction how nice basically on the first night i was here alone because wendy's flights got delayed multiple times so she didn't get in until the next morning and when i walked into this room alone i was terrified because first of all the lights don't really work properly when i walked in all the lights were off when i first came in it didn't work so it was quite scary to be honest but yeah on the first day i arrived late in the afternoon so i just rested the next day we had training so to breathe in here and the bird is so damn fast hey guys so I'm here with coach today coach Chan and we're gonna be doing some footwork so let me teach you European style or Asia style After practice, came back to the hotel, showered, and then we all went to the restaurant to have dinner with Catherine because it was her birthday on May 1st. And I ordered this steak, I think ribeye soaked in tequila. And when they cooked it, they put it on a hot plate and then they pour tequila on it. And then there's like this huge fire thing. So that was a spectacle. It was all right. It was kind of expensive though. It was like 50 something Canadian and including tips. I think my whole dinner was around like 65, $70. So 
was quite expensive. I guess the entertainment of seeing them cook it, that was special, but the taste of the steak, meh. I just went to practice this morning a little bit, just a light hit, because I'm playing later tonight. I play at six, and I play against either a player from the US or I think it's Ecuador. I ordered some tacos for Uber Eats, so let's taste this them together. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of tacos, don't kill me, or Mexican food in general. I think this looks really, really spicy and I might actually die if I eat it. I ordered four tacos, but why does this look like so much? Maybe I should have just ordered two or three. Taste test. Mmm, it's crunchy. I like the meat in this one, but I prefer softer shells. Let's try this sauce out. Oh my god, it's so spicy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. I'm dying. Guys, 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 that was a bad decision. Better without the spicy sauce. This one's pretty good. I don't know what it is. It's like orange. Mmm, this one's really good. I look like I just killed someone. I think this one is barbecue. I don't like this one as much. I'd give the other one like a 7 out of 10. I give the one I just ate like 4 out of 10. Last one. I think this one's beef. I look at how fat this is. Oops. Mm, the first one's still better. I'd give this one a 5 out of 10. I'm gonna finish my lunch now and then I'm gonna take a shower, nap, and then head to my match later in the day. day after my match i lost singles yesterday first round to the american player it was three games but i played like poop as you can see i was quite upset about my game my eyes are quite swollen today but that's okay it was bad guys i literally could not play proper badminton i framed everything everything was a miss hit the court the lighting the bird the environment the weather the humidity the altitude all these factors are not excuses because my opponent was also playing in the exact same conditions and she was able to hit the bird properly so <laughs> i just suck <laughs> 
Oh my god, I don't even know what to say about the match. It was terrible. Even thinking about it, it makes me want to like die. So I'm just being dramatic. Oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry. At the beginning of the first game, I just kept making mistakes. They were just dumb mistakes. It's not like she was hitting very nice shots and I was in a bad position and I made a mistake. It was just literally I was in a good position and I net into the net. The bird was like slower because they tipped it every other feather, but it was also fast. At the same time like i couldn't use my attack and clear because i'm scared if i attack clear like i normally do it'll go out but then at the front court i feel like my lifts were half court so it's weird because i feel like at the back court i couldn't use my normal power but at the front court when i use my normal power is half court the frame was just hard to control i guess my opponent controlled it better than i did she kept attacking to my overhead side and i was slow to that side and her strategy worked but then also I changed in the second game. I anticipated the overhead side more so then I could speed up an attack and that worked. But then in the third game, I just stopped playing badminton. I just ended up framing everything. It was terrible. I missed a lot of her slices. I feel like I could hear her breathing really hard and she kept attacking and speeding up. So then I thought to myself, okay, I should just try to move her around more first and tie her out even more and then she'll make mistakes. But then she kept attacking. So my strategy was clearly not working. So I should have attacked. Also at the front court, I felt like she got me off balance. At the front, she showed net shot before she flicked. So then I would always be scared to like move back first. A lot of the times when she pushed me, it was like behind me so it was kind of an uncomfortable position to attack and her shots had pressure that i was not expecting i didn't play proper badminton and my opponent was playing well and yesterday it was just not my day and i was really upset after my game and i wanted to just curl up in a hole and just cry and i may have cried a little bit on my bed but that's okay today i have doubles if i lose doubles today i want to change my flight and go home but if we win then that's good. That's the update. I just feel like I've been playing too many tournaments recently and when I was on court, I didn't have that drive to win anymore, that determination, that fight in me, that fire. So I think I need to take a little break and train for a bit. Hopefully Wendy and I win doubles today.